Hey guys, quick fix here. All right, so we have a 2016 Chrysler 200. It is the uh, 2.4 liter four cylinder and it's just a front wheel drive. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the uh, front brake pads. I already did one side, so I'm gonna show you how to do the opposite side. Also did the oil change. Um, I'll just give you some more information about that. I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but it's just a, a 13 mil bolt. It holds about 5.6 quarts of oil, uh, zero W20 full synthetic. All right guys, enjoy the video. Thing you want to do is loosen up these 519s well one has well lock here I already loosened up while the car was on the ground of course you want to uh, use jack and jack stands to ensure your safety I already loosen up the uh, wheel lock so let's take that off and now let's move these 419s Let's move the wheel. Come on, bro. All right, there we go. We're good. All right. All right, we've got the wheel to the side. Now let's turn this steering knuckle towards us so we get a better look. Now we're gonna move these 14s. Alright, fourteen down here. We're going to take our caliber, place it up top, I'm trying to wipe that off, and there's our pad. The new pads I got did not come with replacement hardware, so I'm going to try to save these. And thank God there's not so much uh, rust buildup on the hardware there. Let's push these in. Pistons. Okay. You usually get like this little air pocket and you push it all in at the same time and get rid of it. Like so. Alright, now let's get the new pads. Now I'm gonna spray this off first. Try to clean this up with brake cleaner. go take anti-seize the top bottom let's get a smoother braking same here we're going to do the backing plate but not yet now let's take one of these clips. They would just let the customer know before they wait too long, it will squeal so it won't go straight to the grinding. That's what these clips are for. I'm strong enough. Here we go. Okay. After you get this clip on, we'll check the guide pins. They feel pretty good. And you take our pad, and you're gonna line this up with the hardware. There you go. Now line this pad up with the hardware.
Next thing you want to do, take your anti-seize and just run it along the backing plate here. Same on the back end. Once you're done with the anti-seize, take your caliber, place it on the uh, brake pads there, and let's light up our guide bolts. Line this up like so. And you take your 14, start by hand. Same thing up top. Start by hand. Now let's tie these up. Now let's put the wheel back on. Here we go. One more spray. Just make sure I didn't get any anti-seize on the rotor. Now let's put this wheel on the brake rotor. There we go. There we go. Got that lined up. Now I take the wheel lock. Start it. And now you just do the rest by hand. Same here. All right, now let's tie these up. I don't like that the wheel lock's too tight, so I always put on the first setting. Just like that, and that's good.